Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? in Moondrop Ranch. Did you buy your chicken coop? I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe, too? I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. to you. Let it go. That's rough. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. 
to both of us. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, scared he did something horrible Riley thank you for telling me you deserve the truth I gotta run there's some stuff I need to do okay We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! <sighs> Leave me alone!
Fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. You wanted revenge for the fight. You were hoping he'd get hurt. That had nothing to do with it. You were jealous about Riley. You wanted Gabe out of the way. I didn't. You don't know what you're talking about. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. Whatever you think you know. <laughs> you might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck-up makes you guilty, too. You don't get it. It wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now... Now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? Gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon... 
Finn comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> So, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter! I keep coming here and playing it back but it always ends the same Ryan he's dead he's really dead Alex It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. The 
doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. <laughs> You're not alone. gorilla suit <laughs> does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool no no he chases a guy in a banana suit that guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool okay i'm i'm sorry this is a mexican restaurant eh, nominally <laughs> <laughs> the food is uh well, terrible but it's gabe's favorite place <laughs> i tell you he's the oldest 12 year old i know Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay, think of something sad, like breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> Be a good 
good memory. I wonder if I can piece it together. How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> That's a lot of blood, huh? <laughs> Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property <laughs> of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. <laughs> Gabe! <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? So... I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before, but... That... That was... pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But... Now, I guess... Just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. 
Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Show sure. 